Hey guys, cheers. All right, in this vlog, we're gonna talk about how to quickly learn software development. Actually, this is how you quickly learn anything. Now, how do you do that? Well, you understand the brain. How does your brain work? How does your brain acquire knowledge? The key is not how long you learn necessarily, it's but how often you learn. It's better to spend 20 minutes a day coding than to spend every day, than to spend two hours three times a week. And it's not because of how much time you spend on it, it's the frequency that really plays a role. Now, don't get me wrong, you have to spend a certain amount of time. Rule number one about learning. The brain can only take in so much information per day. I think the maximum it can handle in terms of like really heavy duty thinking and that includes learning to program, is about four hours, three to four hours, depending on the individual. Of course, some people have more capacity to do that, some people have less. It's about three to four hours for the average person. So after three to four hours of intense mental work, that's it, that's pretty much it. And in fact, they've done studies where they track students where they have three block, three hours, three hour blocks, there we go, three hour blocks of learning, People tend to remember the first hour and the last hour and forget everything in the middle. Keep that in mind. So the rule number one, no more than three to four hours at a sitting in terms of intense mental work because your productivity will begin to drop quite a bit. Experienced developers will tell you that. It comes the same thing to learning. Let's talk about frequency. Remember I said that it was more important in terms of the frequency of your learning, if you will, or how many times you learn per week versus how many hours you spend. Why is that? Because the way the brain responds is that it responds to things that it sees often. When you expose it to learning to code on a daily basis, just for even 20 minutes, the brain will start going, hmm, that must be important. I better put some more energy into learning this stuff. So frequency is more important than the amount of time that you spend. You're better off to train 20 minutes a day learning to code, then do two hours every two days, if that makes sense. You do 20 minutes a day, six days a week, give yourself a, a day off, once, you know, once, at least once a week, twice a week. You see, you're gonna learn much more quickly because what happens is you're triggering the brain, especially after seven cycles, the brain will go, hey, this guy, Steph, he's spending a lot of time, he keeps coming back every day trying to learn how to code. I better, I better put some energy into learning how to code. Here's something you have to understand about the brain. The brain, roughly, this is very rough, there's, there's two parts of your brain. There's the higher thinking brain, the conscious brain that we're aware of, the brain that adds, does math, the brain that understands logic. And then you have the lizard brain, the brain we actually share with lizards and monkeys. And this is the powerful brain. The lizard brain is a super powerful brain and actually controls everything controls our heart's beat, it controls all the information coming in through the five senses. In fact, the lizard brain, the lower brain, processes about 10 million pieces of information per second. 10 million pieces of information per second. Compare that to our conscious brain, the brain we're aware of, the thinking brain, it processes about 40. Not 40,000, not 40 million, 40 pieces of information. So, in a nutshell, the higher brain, our conscious brain, the brain that's used to uh, do logical thinking, it uh, is a wimpy brain. It's like a single core wimpy CPU made in the 80s. Now our lizard brain is like a 10,000 core mega computer. It is super powerful. It controls everything. Now the super brain, when it decides to pay attention to something, it can process, learn and do things super quickly much more performant than the higher brain. I'm pointing here, but it's, it's all over the place. Anyway, so the trick is, is to trigger the lower brain, the, the lizard brain, to activate its 10,000 cores. I don't know how many cores it has, but it has a lot of cores. We'll just say it's 10,000 cores for this video. So it, you want to trigger it to activate its 10,000 cores so it starts remembering things, remembering how to code. And how do you trigger it? Frequency of exposure. Seven times, rule of seven, old marketing. Marketers figured this out a long time ago. So, by triggering it, by exposing coding every day, 
the powerful brain part of your brain, the 10,000 core brain, it goes, hey, we better, we better start remembering this stuff. It must be important because we keep seeing it every day. But if you only see it every so often, once, once every four days, once, you know, the lizard brain is like, meh, can't be that important. We're not seeing it too often. So that's the trick. Frequency is more important than duration, right? And how long, how often is more important than how long. And you want to devote no more than three hours to any intense, maybe four. Maybe you have a cup of coffee, you can push a little, hard, a little harder. But you don't want to put too much effort on a particular sit down or too much time with intense mental work because your productivity will just plummet. This is all proven through the data. So there you go. And that knowledge that I have, and there's many other things in terms of psychology and so forth, that's actually built into my studio web training program. It's designed for that type of thing so that when you log in and you start with the HTML5 and you finish the first three chapters, and then when you log off because you've got to take your break, and then you log in the next day, it remembers exactly where you were and takes you right there. So it's designed actually around the way our brains actually assimilate knowledge. So when you see people put out 30 minute and 40 minute videos, you know they don't know anything about teaching because any decent teacher knows that's not going to work too well. All right, I hope this is useful.